I live for the moments when men realize I'm like way tougher and braver than them. <laughs> So in addition to the 200 comments that men made about me being a cougar, because they're so threatened by my schmegual liberation, I wanna show some other comments that I get regularly. This recent one on my YouTube channel, which is linked in my bio, please follow. Uh, it's like, it's the God's constitution. Abram was 40, wife, what? You're talking on a man built platform, cloths made by men, roads, hospitals, cars, it's a man's world. The world like kind of sucks, um, so that's y'all's fault. But also, men have been stealing stuff that women make. <laughs> All I mean, everything they steal. Like white people, we steal everything too. One guy called me an empty egg cart. Um, I'm sorry, I can't wait for menopause. Not yet, buddy. One's like, it's far better to live in a shack with a godly woman than live in a mansion with a woman's skull. Use that energy and become a bricklayer. So what I love about these men is that I am sure None of them have done this. This is material that will make a house. But not like the house they probably live in that's cushy. I'm sure they've never lived in a trailer on a strawberry farm in Argentina where they are actually doing manual labor. You know what men do. I bet these men don't even get dirty. And they definitely did not travel by themselves for eight months. Get dirty and climb here, Patagonia, where they didn't know anybody. Or the Alp, hanging off thousand foot walls where one mistake could lead to a helicopter evacuation. No, they don't do this kind of stuff. Definitely not doing this. Hiking in by headlamp for three hours and hiking out by headlamp for three hours after spending all day on a wall. Nah, they just like watch football. The only bricks they're laying are in their toilet. And I'm sure they've never used this kind or had to carry their own poop <laughs> because they didn't have running water or even a heater in the dead of winter. I'm sure none of them lived in a truck for five years or slept outside with no tent at all regularly in Occupy Wall Street in New York City around rats <laughs> and cops. These providers and protectors are not leaders. They're definitely not our bound instructors in the wilderness for keeping people alive or keeping people alive on terrifying river for five years. No. They're not brave. They're cowards. No, they weren't invited on National Geographic to be a professional survivor. And I'm sure they're not brave enough to protest. In Chile, all they doth protest is the liberation and happiness of other people. Even if they did all of that stuff that I've done, they've still never given birth, date cishet men, or survive as a woman. These cowards can short the fork off!